guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys are having a wonderful day today I wanted to talk about the products that I was loving one year ago so that's right you heard me we're doing a flashback Friday so that way there I can talk about the products that I was loving one year ago so I went back through my videos and I was like okay what products was I using what products was I loving so I pulled the products that I was loving that I still have in my collection or that I've repurchased in my collection so Let's get and get started. So the first thing is the Chloe Rose de Chloe. This perfume smells so good. I haven't pulled it out in a while and I don't know why. It's one of those that smells exactly like roses, but it's not like an overwhelming, like it doesn't smell like a floral shop or anything like that. It just has a beautiful scent to it. I remember I got this. It was like a really good deal at TJ Maxx. So if you ever are looking for a good perfume or something like that, definitely check out your local TJ Maxx. I'm sitting today with my head kind of cut off. Because I was like, I'm going to do my makeup and then it was time for her hair. I was like, I'm not doing my hair. So anyway, <laughs> I love this perfume. Get back to this. I really do love this perfume. So I'm still in love with it. One year later, I do think it's really good. I just need to pull it out and use it more. I keep forgetting about it. The next thing is the e.l.f. The Mineral Mist. This is the Replenishing Revitalized Skin with Witch Hazel, Rosemary, Chamomile, Honeysuckle, Aloe, and Vitamin B. This is a really good spray. I don't know if it's good for like setting your makeup. I don't think it does a good job at that. But what I do think it does a good job for is like hydrating your skin. So if you have dry skin like I do, you're going to love it to put over top of your makeup because then your makeup's not going to look cakey. It kind of smooths it out a little bit. So I really do enjoy this and I feel like e.l.f. is such a good brand because they're cruelty free. They're very affordable. And they're easy to find so I really am enjoying this still so this is actually a repurchase I have repurchased this I really do enjoy that still the next thing is the Tony Moly this is the brightening eye base this is another repurchase this works really well for putting under your eyes and it will just kind of brighten your skin up it does look very white when you put it on but what you do with it after you've put it underneath your eyes you're just gonna kind of tap it into your skin and then once you've tapped it in what it does is just brightens it, the area up. So if you have a lot of discoloration going on under your eyes, like I do, then this is perfect. It's not very thick and emollient, so it's not going to make your skin look cakey or anything like that. It just kind of sinks in and just gives that little bit of a cast to it that's going to make it look a little bit more toned down. Really do like that product. I think it's cute as a button too. It's a little panda. That's super adorable. And then the next thing is the It Cosmetic Superhero Palette. <laughs> This I raved about, of course, because it was in my favorites. Now it's not so much. I think the reason why I love this so much was the packaging. I think the packaging was like, whoa, that's super unique. I love the shape to it. That's pretty cool. The shadows in here are really pretty, but I just feel like these shadows are not the best. So I feel like this palette was kind of like a favorite at that time because I felt like it was a little bit different for It Cosmetics and everything like that. But now it's like, it's not that good. It's okay it's like a mediocre palette so I wouldn't recommend it to anybody because I mean it's not the best but I wouldn't just I wouldn't say don't get it either I would just say go swatch it and see if you like it for yourself but for me now I don't regret purchasing it but I don't love it as much as I did at that time so it's one of those things I kind of fell out of love with the last thing was the Ole Hendrickson this is the cucumber spray I've used that completely up I never repurchased it because I didn't think it was that great so that was something else. There was two things that I was like, eh, they're okay. And then three things I was like, yes, I still love those things. So those are the things that I was loving from the past one year ago. One of the current favorites I want to talk about today and the only favorite I want to talk about today is the Too Faced Just Peachy Palette. Oh my goodness. This is the matte palette. This palette is absolutely amazing. I love the eye looks I create using this. I am wearing it today. I love every single shade in here I think it just blends super easily you can create really dramatic looks you can create more daytime looks I am going to be doing a three looks one palette using this palette let me know if you what kind of eye looks are you looking for you're looking for a daytime appropriate you're looking for evening type of eye look you're looking for a little bit bold let me know but I really do love this palette if you were thinking about getting it I'd say get it if you're waiting for the coupon for the VIB sale I'd say totally pick it up then because you're going to get 20% off or if if Too Faced themselves has a sale, pick it up. It's really, really good. It smells like peaches, but not enough to where I would say don't get it because it's over scented. It's not like the original peach palette. This one here smells like true peaches, but it's a very, very light scent. Like when you open it, it's hard to even smell it. You have to almost stick it up your nose to smell it. It's not super strong. So I think it's just an excellent palette. If you're a matte lover, 
you're gonna love it. I think it's beautiful. If you're a warm tone lover, you're gonna love it. The packaging itself is really, really pretty. I think they did a fantastic job with this palette. I am absolutely in love. So other than that, that is a little bit of a back to the future type of deal and then one of my current favorites. So today I'd love to know what favorites you loved before. Do you still love those products or do you not? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.